OK, Rob, it uh, looks like you've been uh, quite busy with uh, some of the players re-signing. Yes, obviously, you know, it, people are aware that thing, you know, guys are coming out of contract at, at various times. We talk a lot about retention and re-signings being a big part of, of what we want to do and where we want to go as a club. So, you know, great to start knocking some of these guys over. We've done a few, you know, already, but these are our next round, to be honest. Uh, James Short, these three guys, four guys have been done for a little while now but it's um, just formalising the last little bit. So obviously it's fantastic to announce that you know, Ian Whitten and uh, James Short are extending their deals at the moment. I think Ian at the moment has been a bit like the, the, the real solid performer in our back line. You know, he's, he's been available week in, week out. He's produced some of his best performances in an extra shirt. He looks like an improving player still. Um, you know, and I'm really, really pleased that he's staying around for the next couple of years because you know, he's one of those guys we've kind of helped build a team around really. And obviously James, again, an ever-improving young player, came, you know, took a bit of a chance on us as well, as just taking a chance on him with a coming for a one-year deal. Um, you know, and it's fantastic that you know he's proved well worthy of uh, extending his contract. Um, and as people can see, you know, he's a player who's improving all the time. And you know, we're going to keep uh, demanding a lot of him. You know, we're going to keep working him hard and wanting him to improve, which is exactly what he wants to do. Um, you know, so we're hoping there's a lot more from him as well. Obviously, Elvis is. You know, really showed his worth probably in this last six or eight weeks. Um, I think he's put in some really, really good performances for us uh, at a time when we've needed our hookers to kind of stand up uh, and perform. And you know, he's, he's played a big part in some very important fixtures for us. Um, you know, and I, I'm kind of delighted that uh, he's also committed to stay uh, for an extended period. Uh, and kind of finally, Damien, uh, who probably of, of all the guys is the guy who's becoming the more senior player now. Um, you know, and uh, you know he's had, a, I think, probably played some of his best rugby for us this season, uh, and has fully, fully merited his extension. You know, I'm, I'm really pleased. All of those guys are going to be here next year. You know, it is your re-signings and your extensions that, that kind of should form the backbone of where you want to go as a club. Um, and ultimately, you know, like I said, they're the foundation that we keep building the squad on year by year. How happy are you with how things are looking for next season, then? Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I think. You know, we've still got a couple of quality players to add that, that we're uh, pretty much there on, pretty much agreed. We are re-signing and signing some academy players. Um, so the, the, at the other end uh, of the squad, we're starting to bring some young players through. And you know, those are going to be the likes of you know, Stu Townsend, Max Badillis, uh, Joe Simmons, etc. And we'll, we'll finalise the, the details on that um, a little bit later. So you know, we're feeling pretty good about where we are. Obviously, the signing of Greg Holmes is an important signing for us for next season. Signing of Oli Devoto, important signing for us next season. You know, we're kind of getting there. We're getting and we're filling the positions we want to fill. So we're, we're we're pretty comfortable where we are at the moment. And as far as your own personal workload is concerned, week by week, uh, you know, what sort of percentage is spent looking at next season, and what percentage is spent looking at what's going on day to day? Almost. Oh, I think it varies a little bit. I mean, obviously, um, sometimes. It can be relatively relatively simple when you look at some of those players there that we want to re-sign, and actually, you know, most of, with most of these lads, the process has been pretty sim simple because they want to stay, we want to keep them. Um, that makes makes things pretty simple. Obviously, there's always you know facts and figures that have to be dealt with, but the reality is those 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 ones are pretty straightforward. Obviously, when we start looking at important positions to bring guys in, then it becomes yeah, very time-consuming and. Obviously, with the forwards, myself and Rob Hunter, we spend a lot of time um, looking at, uh, at video and looking and, and discussing and finding out about people's personalities. Uh, Greg Holmes, as an example, was probably a guy who, between us, Rob and I probably broke down every individual action he did in 10 or 12 games, you know, which, when you think about it, take, that takes quite a lot of time. And what you need to remember is it not, it's not the time that you spend on Greg Holmes, it's the time you spend on all the other options that are out there that you decide not to go for. You know, that, that's what takes the time. People, people probably think that it's the time you spend on the players you recruit. You do. We spend a lot of time on the players we recruit. We also spend a lot of time on the players that we actually decide not to, not to go for as well. And that, that's what eats up a bit of your time. And it's been a bit similar with the second row situation just now. You know, once we started to look at second rows, myself and Rob Hunter, you know, without, without joking, we have probably looked at, uh, in varying degrees of detail, 15 to 20 players before, you know, before we've settled on that Lewis is the guy we really wanted to go after. Um, and obviously great credit to Ulster, thanks to Ulster that they were prepared to release him. So, you know, it, it does take a bit of time, but obviously it's probably, in my opinion, one of the most important parts of my role is to get the right guys on the pitch and the right guys here training and playing. Um, 
uh, and so it's, it's always time that's well spent. <laughs>